Hi, I'm Jill from Boomer Tech Adventures, and today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite desserts, brownie tort. I learned to make this from a recipe card that came in a monthly supplement from Betty Crocker. Oh, I don't know, I was a young teacher, so it was many years ago. Let me walk up to the camera and show you what they think it's supposed to look like, what Betty thought it should look like. And you can see there, it's gorgeous. Well, it's a brownie mocha tort. And that's why the frosting, which is whipped cream, has a brownish tinge to it. Okay, I have modified the recipe. The original recipe calls for brown sugar. I never used it. I always use confectionery sugar. So here's what my end result usually looks like. There's the back. And I've taken a piece out because a friend dropped by and wanted a taste. It's two layers and it's frosted with mocha whipped cream. Now, I've also experimented this summer with using fresh fruit. So this is the same recipe, only instead of mocha frosting, I used just plain white, uh, whipped cream fresh strawberries on top, and though I haven't cut it, the middle part is actually a fruit spread. And in this case, I'm using an all fruit spreadable fruit, which uh, doesn't have any additional uh, sugar, except of course there are juices concentrates in it, which does add some sugar. But I thought that would be kind of fun to combine the chocolate, the rich chocolate of a brownie with a um, fresh fruit. Now, if you use strawberries, because it's the end of June, early July, that's what's in season in Maine. If this were the end of July, it would be fresh raspberries. And boy, raspberries and chocolate make a wonderful combination. Now, you could make your own brownies. I use the Duncan Hines mix simply because I've never been able to duplicate their chewy texture. I've tried and I've tried and I've tried, so that's what I use. So let me show you how I put it together. Let me move these out of the way. So I baked the brownie mix in layer pans, two. I have two layers. I could do three layers. I've done that, but then I have a problem of it going downhill and uh, I have to put two thick picks in to keep it steady. So I don't do that. I just uh, create two layers of brownie. Like I said, you can use your own, your own from scratch recipe or you can use a box mix. I have whipped up whipping cream with about a tablespoon of confectionery sugar instead of the brown sugar that's in here and about a tablespoon of instant coffee granules. Now, it really is to taste. If you like a heavier mocha taste, then you're gonna put in more of the coffee granules. If you like uh, less, you'll put in less. If you like it sweeter than uh, a tablespoon of confectionery sugar, you're gonna put more sugar in. So you need to taste it as you go along. And so I simply, what's why I say it's simple. I have a brownie layer. I have mocha whipped cream, whipped cream, vanilla, about a teaspoon of vanilla, about a tablespoon of confectionery sugar, and about a tablespoon of instant coffee grounds. And I'm simply going to layer it on. Now, as you saw, and uh, one, I had fun with chocolate sprinkles. So I think I will put some of these in the middle. Again, this is all personal choice. In this particular set of brownies, I added chocolate chips. Somebody else might add peanut butter chips or butterscotch chips or white chocolate chips. You can have fun. And I'm just gonna sprinkle. When I grew up outside of Boston, we went to Brigham's for ice cream, and these were called Jimmy's. I'm not sure what they're called in your part of the country. 
And I usually do the frosting on the bottom layer to the, um, the plate. I have other friends that do it so that it's just frosting on the top and frosting in the middle. Again, your choice, what you like. Now, um, I had these layers in the freezer after they came out of the oven. That's so it's easier to spread the um, spread the frosting on. And quite often, if I make it ahead of time, I put it back in the freezer. But I have to remember to take it out mm, about 10 minutes before I'm going to cut it because it'll be frozen so solid you can't get a knife in it. Or you can put it in the refrigerator, whatever works for you. Then I put the second layer on. And again, you could put, use something else for filling. Like I said, I use the strawberry spread. You might do something else. Usually, I'll be honest with you, I bake the brownies, put them in the freezer, and then I wait till dinner is over and then I whip the cream because this isn't a dessert that lasts well. I mean, it'll last 24, 48 hours, but I usually like to give people Oh, a little time to digest their dinner before we pull out the uh, whipped cream. And the other good thing about this is, of course, because it's whipped cream, you don't need to add ice cream. You could, and you could even add chocolate sauce. That would be really decadent. But the whipped cream is just a nice, light frosting uh, that is easy to do. So see... It took me, what, less than five minutes to assemble it. And again, I'm going to just put some sprinkles on it for a little bit of design. Whoops, almost lost it there, folks. You do have to be careful. So, again, just to reiterate, it's a brownie mix that's cooked in layer pans rather than in a brownie uh, square pan. It's whipped cream with a tablespoon of confectioner. I use about a pint of whipped cream. That's probably too much. A tablespoon of confectionery sugar, a tablespoon of instant coffee granules, about a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. Whip it all up, put it on the layer, Sometimes I do a different filling in between layers, like fruit, or I could have, if I had more strawberries today, I would have chopped them up and put them in just uh, the plain cream. And um, you've got a delectable, pretty dessert that will wow your family and friends, if they like chocolate. If they don't like chocolate, you're out of luck. Anyway, thanks for stopping by. I hope you try the brownie tour and I hope you and your family and friends enjoy it.